Hello, Kalle here. So yesterday I created some characters, leveled them up. Um, today I equipped the items on them. I just put the items up in my vault uh, so that I didn't have to go get them off of mules or whatever if I kill them with gear on. So that's saved me some time. Yay. Um, yeah. Standard gear. Much prefer the uh, blue dagger there for the range instead of the foul. I don't think I have that many though, so I don't think I have it on like the assassin or the trickster. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how many I have. Probably have a few spare on some other character though. So we have the priest. What do we put on the priest? Right, backpack. And we have, I think. Yeah, I don't. I'm not using the two six at all, because that's just unnecessary. There is no use for it whatsoever. And the purification isn't used at all either. Like, where, where is it useful? On O two, if you get like confused or something, maybe. Otherwise, it's entirely useless. And of course, I keep my uh, uh, swap outs, the bottom right, because that's good. I have a macro that switches those items out. And what up? What's next? It's a priest rogue. Uh, warrior. What do we put on the warrior? I think I have a general as well as the jug. I don't really use it. I think I just use it for like running fast or something. I don't really play warrior all that often. I don't think it's that great of a class really. I mean obviously it does a lot of damage. And it has high defense with the jug, but the knight is just straight up better. You can stand on top of your enemies. Yay! For much longer than you could on a warrior. And even with the ring pop there, I can use the uh, jug as I mentioned, mentioned the uh, previous video. So the knight... Um, I think I only I have a couple of claims. I didn't want to get any off of mules, so I only have a deep blade on this one, I think. We'll see. Looking for gear. Demon blade. We'll take that and the next HP. I could use a pyramid on the warrior, but it doesn't really matter. Don't need the defense all that much. The attack is nice, of course, but yeah, whatever. I like the coral ring. Like, more mana than a Nile. And more speed on the decks, you know, who cares? They're killing stuff so fast anyway. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. What's next? Random character, Paladin. And the Paladin is like the easiest class ever. You don't have any swaps at all. Acclaim, Oreo, Candy Armor, and Pyramid, I think. Yes, they were up there. Bam, done. You don't really sit on top of enemies, so the D blade is meh. You don't need the G cookie because you can just spam the Oreo. And the extra defense from the um, candy armor is very nice to have when you're running like a business or something. What's this? Assassin? Yes, assassin. Well, yeah, there's a lot of swaps for an assassin. You need a longer dagger, you need different potions. Well, that's just two, I think. Yeah, two. Yep, yep. And uh, Dirk, of course, for the extra wisdom. Not that it really matters now that you have pets. It's just so much mana region anyway. And you keep the plague poison around for I don't know what. Like, when you're feeling, yeah, might miss. Put it on. There's a necro. What do we put on the necro? Backpack. Right, just um, I could use the lower tier skull on the necro, but it's not like you need. Well, I don't even know how much that my heals like way too much, two hundred or something per enemy. I don't know, hundred and fifty. You never need that much. There's always plenty of enemies around, and if there's just one, like, why would you need to heal? Uh, mystic, 
Mm, screw Mystic. I think I only have like a tier 0 orb or something. You're not supposed to use an orb anyway. I don't want to damage the enemy. Yay, use the orb. The orb of uselessness. No, thank you. Mad scientist robe. It doesn't matter if you're using that one or the Grand Sorcerer. Really doesn't matter at all. We don't have a trickster. What do we put on the trickster? Well, I have like to swap for the prism, maybe the dagger as well. I don't know. We'll see. What do we find? There we find. All right, we can have a ring pop there as well. That's nice to have. So I have three swaps. I guess I could go over with the Hydra. It's really, it really doesn't matter. Coral Silk, meh. Yes, lovely, lovely. All right, I went out to see the, the lovely statue. If people haven't seen this before, you can see it now. It's a very old thing though. I think I might have done a video. I'm not sure. Eh, who knows. Was probably long ago if I did. The last one there is hard to find. Yay, Oryx statue. Very decaying. Very much so. Yes. Now, go back, change. Coral silk, yes, I chose the coral silk. What do we have next? Andres, Ninja? Ninja, there's like no swaps at all, I don't think. Mm, yeah, you didn't need that. I think I have some of the katanas, like the longer range ones. I don't know what they're called. I never use them. They do like no damage at all. You don't need the extra range. So, there you go. And the throwing star, yeah. I mean, for running around fast, it doesn't really matter which one you use. And if you're doing damage, I think the green one is the most uh, mana efficient one, like damage per mana. Granted, the higher tier ones do more damage, but they also consume more damage. Uh, I mean, more mana. So that's why I'm using the green one, I think. I, I haven't done any, I haven't checked that for a very long time though. So I could be wrong. Don't really care. Uh, Huntress, yay, Huntress. We have no swaps, I think. Oh yeah, with the Doombo, of course. Well, I always put the Doombo in like the the backpack because I almost never use it, so it's not really interesting. I could have a swap for the trap, but the the speed decks of the coral trap is nice to have, and I really don't use the trap at all. So, all right, how do you swap it? You control click it. Yay. There we go. Down with the Huntress. What up? We have the Sorcerer. There's like one swap. Nothing else, I don't think. Like you have the DPS wand, <laughs> which really doesn't do a lot of DPS, but. Yeah. And you have the C wand, which you use most of the time. There we go. All done. Almost. Yeah, you can't use the full set there. Such a shame. Experimental rings. Lulu. Uh, what do we have next? Wizard? Uh, right. Yeah, I didn't have the items for the wizard because I didn't have any before I killed the one that I made for the random gameplay one. So what do we have for the... Archer then, we should have a Doom Boss Wrap, I think. I'm not using the Quiver of Thunder, I think it's called. I don't see the point. Like, if you can't dodge, like, why? Well, bleh, nah. You can always dodge. Won't do more damage with a Quiver of Thunder. And the Paralyze is always nice to have. And I don't need the lower level, like lower tier quiver, which would be nice if you had like um, mana issues. The lower level, lower tier quivers would be uh, better for uh, 
paralyzing. I think they're like 65 mana or something, as opposed to 85 maybe for the tier 6. So, yeah. And the wizardry, yes, right. I found an E dead. I found. I think it might have a like pyramid or something. And I had to get the staff and the robe off of. I don't know, the mule or something. I can't remember. So there we go. Uh, I'll put in some um, of the first pots I picked up after this. Um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm gonna start potting up the um, the rogue first because um, I'm gonna use the rogue for running uh, sprite worlds. Uh, it really needs you need to have a rogue for running sprite worlds. It's like way faster than anything else. You run faster. You can cloak through godlands so people can't follow you, which is a big concern for me. There's always people following me into dungeons, so having a rogue cloaking around in godlands and uh, popping uh, sprite walls open is way faster than you can just cloak away to the, to the boss. And when you're cloaked at the boss, the boss is standing still, which means you are free to just stand there, do damage. Pretty good. So, some um, footage here. Lovely. <laughs> 